Sounds TV. I'm your ever lovely host, Fina. This week on Weekly Summary, we'll be talking about all the latest gossips from the local to the international. Now, to start with the Nigerian scene today, David was caught up in some mess as his bodyguard assaulted a journalist. Now, when I saw this guy, I mean, I saw a very short video clip of him after he was beaten. Like, it's safe for me to say he was beaten to stupor. Like, he was like, I, I, I actually I had to ask, like, is this a corpse? Because he looked like a corpse after I was beaten. Like, it was really bad. And then I'm like, okay, what did he do to warrant him getting beaten to that point? And then it was said that he was trying to get an interview with the video when he got beaten. Now, this makes me fair for my life because um, is it that if tomorrow I want to get an interview with Davido, I'm going to get beaten to that point? Because I really don't know. Although they did say that there was some, you know, trouble stirred up some here and there before it got to that point. But I feel like no matter what the guy did or no matter what transpired, it's definitely not enough for him to get beaten to that point, almost like that point, you know? Um, I don't know if the guy is going to sue Davido if I was the one. I'm thinking, what would I do? But yeah, um, it was at Maya Kun's concert in Ibado and Davido has not said anything about the situation. Maya Kun has not said anything about the situation. In fact, when he had to make a statement about his concert, he talked about condom, which is like sex awareness and all that stuff. And when I heard that, I was like, hmm. So you leave the story of an almost dead man and talk about condoms. Like, who does that? Who does that? Now, I'm, I'm really not pleased about this and I hope something comes up. Maybe one of them comes forward, apologizes or make a statement or something or settle. I don't know. I hope this doesn't, you know, go, um, it doesn't, you know, things don't go overboard. Maybe the guy decides to sue the video or the concept or my room or whatever. Well, still on the Nigerian scene, guys, we have still on, um, this is still about the video. I mean, it seems like everything is about the video this week. Okay, so people have been saying that Chioma left school, she left the university for the video. Now, ever since she started her relationship, maybe she has not had time for her school or her life. So it's like they're trying to say maybe her life is all around the video. Now, since the video brought Chioma to the spotlight, it's not been a normal life for her. I mean, what would she expect being the girlfriend or the fiance of Obo? I mean, nobody's life is gonna remain the same if they, you know, came out through him or, stuff, or something like that. So yeah, I'm feeling like Chioma is having a very difficult time because she came forward on social media and she said, if you don't know everything about something, shut up. So yeah, she definitely gave a response. I was expecting a response and yeah, she did. She said, please keep your mouth short. If you don't know everything about the situation but seriously people will talk about any little thing so yeah they are celebrities it's their life and it's all about scandals yeah that's where we think <laughs> yeah right to the international scene we have azilia banks shading Nicki minaj for doing a collabo with takashi 69 now i saw the video at first, um, just you know, there was news about it everywhere, and the song is titled Fefe. So I was like, why would Nicki Minaj do a song with Takashi? Because I'm listening to a lot of Takashi songs, and it's all noise. It's like an angry boy trying to, you know, take out his range on the world with his music. So I, I, I never saw the likes of Nicki and Takashi coming together to do a collaboration. So I was surprised. Funny enough, when I watched the video and listened to the songs, I was like amazed because it, it kind of seemed like Nicki Minaj toned down Takashi's madness just a little bit because he seemed rather cool and it was like a love story and all that. But yeah, um, Azilia Banks is saying that why would Nicki Minaj do something with Takashi because he's a pedophile. Now she was like disgusted with the fact that Nicki Minaj would even do something with a pedophile in the first place. So yeah, she's saying, uh, Nikki, you did me wrong, or you did the world wrong by doing a song with Takashi. But hey, who cares? The video has over 30 million views on YouTube and is still going viral. I'm expecting that it will probably hit 100 million um, sometime soon. Still on the international scene, guys, we have Black China posing to want to start a music career, in fact, a rap career. Okay, so 
Oh, okay, let's say maybe she's getting this idea from Cardi B because Cardi B was once a stripper and then she came out with the song Bodak Yellow and blew everybody's minds away. And as she became the rap star of our century. But I don't know if Black China would ever get to that point. I mean, nobody's really expecting anything for, from her. She's all about scandals and small boyfriends and all that. So if she were actually to drop one single and it turned out really good, it would definitely be a shocker for everybody, including myself. Because I'm like, okay, she posed with um, the mic and the headphones on in the studio, and it seems like she's preparing something. Some people say that maybe she's helping YBN Almighty J do the background for his music. <laughs> that was funny. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe she has something cooking up. And if she does, and it turns out to be a hit, definitely would be surprised but yeah all about scandals and sexual bits and that uh yeah i'm not expecting so much from her but at the same time let's see what she has to offer if she wants to definitely go into music all right guys that's all we have for you this week on weekly summary on hit songs tv for more juicy gist don't forget to visit our website www.hitsongs.com i'm still your ever lovely host finna keep watching hit songs tv